feathered friends it's your fairy godmother moon and welcome back to my channel so today is a glamour day uh, i started a new type of glamour magic today just something that i'm testing out to see if it's going to make it into my grimoire or if it's just going to stay in the book of shadows as like a tried and true but honestly i feel like it's working really well for me so i'm going to continue to go with it i'm going to go with it i think this is a success but it's only day one so i'm not 100 percent sure how it's going to turn out but today is is a good day so a little while ago i got a package from the sagelifestyle.com it's a retailer that sells crystal inspired scents which i really really love i love anything crystal inspired of course and anything that has the attributes of a crystal is something that you can use in loads of different types of magic so i'm all about adding scent to my daily magic if i'm doing some sort of working i like to put something on like an oil or a spray that has elements of that magic in it just to keep that magic flowing all day you know that sort of thing but when i looked through their adorable catalog and i I was trying to figure out what I wanted, what else I needed to get, what I could use this for. I recognized the fact that so many of these would be great for glamour magic. Like, incredible for glamour magic. So, I ended up getting Peridot, Amber, Onyx, and a few samples of Diamond and Garnet. As I look at these, the scents that are in here making up the whole crystal scent are things that can be used in so many different types of magic and they often go so well together for a very specific type of working. So say you're doing confidence magic and you want something that's going to make you feel bold and strong and that actually has the scents that represent boldness and strength and that elicit that sort of feeling from you um, with scent therapy. I thought I saw one of my plants on the floor and I was gonna freak out. I looked over at it and I was like, wait, 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 who knocked a plant on the floor? And then I realized that it's just one of my floral hair items. So yeah, confidence. We're talking about confidence magic. If you're doing confidence magic, there are lots of different things that can bring that sun energy, that bold energy out of you. Amber is one of those things. The citrus is wonderful for confidence magic. So I'm looking at all of these things and I'm thinking, okay, I definitely feel like I need to do something for my own personal confidence and not confidence in myself and my ability to do things, but confidence in myself and relationships. I've been having a lot of um, really interesting and uh, tumultuous relationship issues not like with my husband but just in relationships in my life I've been reevaluating them and just trying to understand my role in them and to make sure that I'm doing my best for the people that I'm you know trying to have a, as a part of my life so so in order to do that I'm doing a ton of shadow work and I'm also doing a lot of self-healing uh, in the form of removing any like traces of negative self-talk from my head so i thought i was already done with that you know i thought that i didn't do that anymore i was over it i stopped doing that in my 20s blah 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 but and there have been some things lately that have been creeping into my mind that have been making me feel completely like zapped of my self-confidence like zapped of my my assurance that i am um, worthy of anything that I have basically which like really sucks and I know that that's something that people go through often and it's really really sucks and I'm like how am I going to combat that you know how am I going to heal this part of me so I decided to start writing a new glamour spell and I was incredibly inspired by these scents there are crystals that in my life I have worked with for a long time that have given me a very specific meaning and for finding my way in a situation I've never really chosen a crystal for that um, because I'm, you know, terribly self-confident usually and I'm terribly like, arrogant and I think I can do anything. I think that um, I can just handle any situation. I never pull cards for myself because like, I got it. You know what I mean? So I was like, that part of me feels a little bit lacking right now. I've definitely, I've definitely let that part of me uh, kind of melt off. And so when I was drawing on that energy, I was reminded of something that my mentor told me. Um, when she was in a space where she had no idea how to proceed with life because something terrible had just happened to her i think it was after her mother passed away so what she used for direction was peridot and peridot is a stone that i almost okay i've never worked with peridot i've 
I've worked with it to figure out how it feels for me. Um, I didn't feel I needed it at any time, so I never worked with it. And so when I thought about what I wanted to use for this glamour spell, I definitely said, okay, I'm going to take a hint from my teacher and I'm going to try Peridot. So when I saw that there was a Peridot scent, I was like, heck yeah, dude, I'm getting it. So I got it. And look at this bottle. This is like the paper outer case that it comes in. I think it's super beautiful and I like it the most because I can just pop this in any bag that I have and not worry about it breaking, which I love because it is glass. Look at it. Look at how cute it is. That's so pretty. I, I'm obsessed with perfume bottles. I love perfume bottles. I love a good roll on as well. Okay, let me, before I get into this, let me just tell you that I started recording a review for all of these. And before I even decided to make this video, I recorded a review and it was of me smelling them for the first time to see if it really gave me the feeling of what I needed to work with it for. Um, and, uh, I got pretty emotional. Um, it really gave me such a kick in the face. It was like, oh my gosh, mom, what? You know, smelling that scent fresh, you know, um, just it really brought back, it, it really brought some, some feelings out of me. So it was really nice to smell them and to have that feeling, that, um, that reminder of what she used to smell like, you know, it was just, it was just really nice. So can you see that? And I think it was also really pertinent just because when I was feeling really badly, when I was feeling really low uh, a couple of weeks ago, um, it was terrible, number one. I hadn't felt that poorly in years. And something that just really just like dug the knife in was the fact that the only person I felt that I could talk to and who would understand me at that time was my mom. So yeah, it was just rough. So opening up this package and smelling it and, and smelling that scent and it just immediately being like what like it smells just like my mom it made me feel like I was getting a hug you know it's okay boopy you know Aww. so but then it also changed the view that I had on the Peridot after that I was like you know what this definitely has a different effect for me this is more of a comforting scent I think that makes me feel um, like held and snuggled and it reminded me of my mom so that is something that I'm going to use for a different type of magic for sure like for a comfort type of magic but when I got the amber I, I took the lid off already but it comes in a little square bottle and I smelled this I was like this is what I want this is what I want notes in the amber perfume are musk vanilla blood orange and Tunisian amber it's perfect for what I need. I associate musk um, with a very particular sort of protective but nurturing energy. Bold but caring, strong but also soft, can hold uh, you know their own in any situation but is also you know down to play with some puppies you know what I'm saying. That along with vanilla which is like one of my comfort scents, one of my um, my self-love sense, blood orange, which adds a little bit of a little passion, a little bit of boldness, and then Tunisian amber, which just 100% comes in with that um, balance energy, that harmonious energy. All of those things combined, to me, felt like what I wanted to embody. Self-love, confidence, boldness, passion, comfort. So I was like, this, this is my glamour magic scent. So putting this on, while I'm saying my affirmations to myself, or while I'm looking in the mirror and telling myself something that I need to hear, while I smell this scent, it's putting me in another state of mind. It's putting me in a place where I feel like myself. And I'm like, feeling myself. You know what I'm saying? Do you, you know what I mean? I felt like good. Like I looked in the mirror and I was like, who is, who is that? I like, I literally said, who is that? When I looked at myself in the mirror. So I really, really recommend this one for any kind of like, oh, I need to feel like I'm on my game today, but I don't want to come off too strong. I want to come off like, you know, just like that, that soft confidence, that, that air of, I know what I'm doing. Um, uh, you know, that like soft chuckle kind of, <laughs> my associates, that soft chuckle kind of, <laughs> Mm. Yeah, <laughs> this one smells like. <laughs> mm. <laughs> it's good. I love it. I really like it. 
And then the Onyx for me is just 100% a protective scent. Onyx has always been my protection stone. It's always been the one that I use for any kind of like I need to to have a shield around myself. So this is 100% going to go into any kind of protective work that I'm doing. I'm also going to like roll it around the edge of any protective candles that I'm making as well. I think it's just perfect. I have such an incredible variety of scents and they have so many different crystal associations that are perfect for literally anyone. You can even go by your star sign, like your sun sign, and get a crystal scented perfume that is specifically for your zodiac, which I think is so dope. I mean, everyone has several different crystals and stuff that align with your zodiac um, but there's always one that you kind of vibe with the most and I said vibe oh my guys I said vibe I, whatever <laughs> it's always one that you're gonna love the most Each fragrance has four or five scents that align with that crystal for example the rose quartz has fresh musk honeysuckle rose damask pink grapefruit and night bloom jasmine all of those are associated with love self-love and nurturing all of them each of them so it's not like these are just like you know oh moonstone it smells like you know eyebrows and fig and grass and like burnt hair like no the scents that are used are actually associated with that crystal they align they are representations of them they have earthy scents they have light floral they have dark floral they have fruity they have subtle scents and they have fresh scents as well and if you're someone that doesn't like a scent too much if the perfumes are too strong like me i am definitely one of those people that does not like to wear perfume um i prefer like a, a scented oil or a body spray something that's a little bit lighter that's not going to uh, give me a migraine because i am someone who just gets migraines these are so soft you can really control how much you put on because it's a roll-on it's not a spray so you don't have to worry about like and being like oh no i put way too much on and you gotta take a shower like what are you gonna do when you put too much on wipe it off with a wet towelette i, would, I don't know but this is so perfect because you can just go la and i kid you not they last for more than one day the first one i wore was the peridot because i fell in love with it and i put it on in the morning and i was like wow this smells so good and i was just thinking about my mom and i was just like literally like like laying like this in such a soft comforting scent and it carried all day all night and then till the next day i still smelled it on myself and the scent changed throughout the day but it kind of like evolved it didn't it didn't turn into anything like yucky or, or smell like bad by the end of the day it evolved into something that was just like a part of me you know what i mean like it's just like it became a part of my scent and so i i just i absolutely love them and i really love this amber because it just it has this it smells so nice it's i can't even okay you're about to get a minty description it smells like i'm laying in a silk tent on the beach and the wind is blowing and there's incense blowing around and I'm smoking a bowl and I've got a glass of wine and I just feel like warm you know I feel like satisfied that's what this smells like so <laughs> and honestly I'm also in love with this bottle with the the glass like crystal topper like I'm getting these next because these are so stunning and they also have jewelry Really pretty crystal necklaces. Peridot is also wonderful for prosperity magic. It's gonna be another video coming out very soon. It's just like using a witchy oil, but it also has the essence of this crystal's representation. So I think like it's a super dope like little witch hack using everyday items and magic is one of my favorite things. And I think these are absolutely perfect for that. So yeah, check out their website, follow them on Instagram, get yourself some wonderful crystal inspired scents that have the elements of any magic that you wanna work with. And smell like a dream while doing your spell work in public okay guys i'm going to go have some delicious calming tea because i'm telling you along with all this wonderful glamour magic and shadow work i'm also balancing those things by keeping myself calm listening to my 528 hertz and meditating until i am just free of all worries i hope you guys are having a beautiful wonderful day oh and if you haven't seen my video with sky life i will also also put that in the description sky followed me around for 24 hours and we did lots of wonderful magical things together called 24 hours with a real fairy me 
me being the real fairy. Hope you enjoy it and let me know how you like it in the comment section. If you already watched it, let me know how you liked it in the comment section as well and have a beautiful, magical day. Mwah!